We give you praise, King of the universe. We thank you for the privilege of coming by the blood of Jesus into your very presence. Lord, we ask that you bless our communion with you this evening. Release to us the spirit of prayer. Let our conversation be ordered aright. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let's be seated. Praise the Lord. Quickly, let's go to Colossians chapter 1. We are looking at releasing your executors. Releasing the executors. Yesterday, we came to agree that there are executors, but um, something must happen for them to be released. Let's start from verse 13. Colossians 1, from verse 13. The Father had delivered, who had delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, exporting, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth. Notice, visible and what? Invisible. Whether they be what? Thrones, governments, authorities, dominions, principalities, powers, all things we are created, how? By him, and what? From him. Let's read it together again. Want to go? For by him, we are all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things we are created by him and what? And from him. I thought you say amen to that. Amen. That's how far the authority of Christ reaches. Now notice that executors can be visible or what? Invisible. They can be people sitting on the throne. They can be people who have dominion. They can be principalities, they can be powers, but all of them are under his rule. So take note. One of the things I want God to impress in your heart this evening is that you are living in a spiritual world. And it is the spiritual that controls the physical. You should have known that by now. Praise God. So, the executors of divine sentences they can be visible. They can be people you see. They may also be very invisible. You may not see them. And yet, they are working. They are executing the purposes of God. One of the things I want you to hold so strongly is that God has a purpose for your life. Praise God. And God is insisting that that purpose must come to pass. And I want you to join God to insist that it will come to pass. I want you to cooperate with him and say, Father, whatever you will do for me, whatever you will do in me, whatever you will do through me, around me, to make sure that your purposes come to pass, Lord, don't spare. That's how I want you to arrange your heart. That's how, that's the kind of disposition I want you to have. So take note that all the executors, whatever they are, wherever they are, wherever they are seated, they were created by him. And they were created for him. So they could be visible. They could be very invisible. Are we together? But there is need for them to be released. Let me begin by showing you a scripture that you know very well. But maybe in another light. Zechariah chapter 3. Zechariah 3. 
Maybe that will help you know that there is need for you to pray this evening. Zechariah chapter 3 from verse 1. And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord. Now notice the angel of the Lord an executor through of us of divine purposes, right? Alright. And he was there. And the Bible says Satan was standing at his right hand to resist him. I call this a near but far executor. Somebody who should help you is very close to you, but he cannot help you. <laughs> An authority that can help you is very close to you, but it's not helping you. Has it ever happened to you before? Is it happening now? Talk to me. Is it happening now? You know people that can help you in this life, but they are not helping you. You even got angry and disowned them. Praise God. So they are nearby, far executors. Very near, but very far. Was the angel very near? The angel was very near. But he couldn't help this man. Something, something must break here this evening. Amen. Verse 2. And the Lord said unto Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Did you notice that his executor couldn't even say anything? It was just they are watching. Do you know there are people who have in, in their mind to help you, but they don't know why they are not helping you? Have you ever seen somebody and you don't just like the person? Talk to me. I know you are born again. You don't just like the person. Eh? Have you ever seen another person? He didn't even ask you, but you want to help the person. Eh? So why is he like that? So the Lord said to Satan, the Lord rebuked the old Satan. Even the Lord that had chosen Jerusalem rebuked thee. Is not this a brand that has been plucked out of fire? Verse 3. Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments. That's where the matter is. And stood before the angel. So they needed to activate this help. And all that they need to activate this help is to remove the filthiness. Finish. And things will start working. So it's possible a filthiness needs to be taken out. So that things will work normally in your life. It's very possible. We need to pray about it. Are we together? So when the Lord talks about us being pure, it's so that there will be ease of flow of help. There will be ease of flow of your executors. Am I talking to somebody? It is to your own advantage. It is to your own advantage. So this is where the matter is. He was standing before the angel. The angel was standing by him. But nothing was happening. Can I ask you? Did Joshua know about this? Huh? He didn't know. It's because you are reading it. That's why you are seeing it. So sometimes people are hindered. Because there is a messenger of Satan standing before them. Instead of the messenger of the Lord, this evening the Lord rebuke any spirit standing against you in the name of Jesus Christ. I didn't hear you. I said the Lord himself rebuke every foul spirit standing against you in the name of Jesus. Say the Lord rebuke you. This is a branch I've already plucked out of fire. This is a man I've already saved. This is a man I've already said that happened. Why are you resisting him? The Lord rebuke anything resisting your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Get ready to pray this evening. Very near help, but very far. Surrounded by helpers. But you see, I have seen this thing play out in the life of people. I have seen it play out in the life. You, you have people everywhere. But you look like you don't have anybody. And sometimes you'll even be boasting of the people you have. But it doesn't reflect in your life. It doesn't show you have that kind of person. Those who have less people than you, they are making progress. So something is not, something is not adding up. I, I, am I talking? Something is not just adding up. I will pray for favor today. You need the favor of God though. You need the fa heavily favored in your life in order to have ease of passage. 
very near, but unreleased. Are we together? So a change of heart can bring a release of executors. A change of your attitude towards God. A change of your commitment towards him. A change of the way you are relating with him. A change in your character. A transformation in who you are can bring about a release of executors. I don't want this fasting to end without you having an experience that God has released help to you. Definite help. Tangible help. That's the desire of God. Life cannot continue to be a struggle every year. There are executors everywhere. You are surrounded, visible and invisible. Heavily surrounded. But how do we release them? And it's not a year of just praying. After praying, you need to take actions. There are actions that bring a release. We saw yesterday, he said to Moses, lift up the rod. Right? Right? Was it a rod that was going to activate it? A wind is going to come. But if that wind will come, what will happen? He will lift up the rod. Sometimes they say, stand up and pray. And you are sitting there. You don't know that stand up was the prophetic word that should have changed you. But you say, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just uh, coming from school. I'm tired. That's how the thing passed you. You need to be very sensitive. Extremely sensitive. Very, 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 very sensitive. I don't want you to be like Naaman this year. They told the man, dip yourself inside water so that the unseen forces of healing can be released. The man said, the water you are telling me to dip inside, do you know the way I'm coming from? Arrogance robbed him of it. Obedience is the key for this season. He said, if you know where I'm coming from, you won't be telling me to dip myself inside this kind of water. The Lord help you to have a humble heart. But excuse me, since you have not dipped yourself, hasn't the leprosy remained? <laughs> you know, you need to be very calculated. Say, after all, if I dip myself inside here, what's inside it? Even if I have bathed, if you bath two times, is it wrong? Okay, if you have swam in another river and you are swimming in this one, is it not an experience? When you are writing your CV and they say, how many rivers have you had your bath in? You write two. Abi? So there is no disadvantage. Check the things that God is asking you to do. You notice that there is no disadvantage in them. It's just, it's just that, that thing that doesn't want the divine purpose to be fulfilled. That thing that causes the heart to congeal and doesn't allow the heart to melt. Are we together? So both the visible and the invisible forces, they need to be released. <laughs> God will release them for you. Both the visible and the invisible. Have you ever met somebody and the person helped you and you're wondering where the person has ever been? Say, where have you been all this way? He said, I've been where I've been. I've been around. But you are not noticed. You are not seen. But upon this mountain, the veil that covers you will be taken away. Yeah. <laughs> they need to be released. Do you know why James died? James died because the executors were not released. Can I ask you, when James died, were there angels? Were they active? Were they ready to walk? But what happened? Nobody released them. The church did not pray. So they killed James. It was the church that killed James. And there are many people that have died. Church killed them. Because nobody prayed for them. But when they reached out and took Peter, the Bible says in Acts chapter 12 that the following day they were about to go and kill the man. They were ready. They have already tied him. Everything. The Bible says prayer was made. Maybe we should read it. Acts chapter 12. Acts 12. Oh, there will be a release. Visible and invisible. I say visible and invisible. Oh my God. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church. Did you notice that scripture? I'm just noticing this scripture for the first time. To vex what? Certain of the church. That means they have had a list. And in the list, who was number one? After James? After Peter? Maybe John. After John? Because certain is not two people. Am I talking? 
They have already had a list. So maybe they have a list. The person who will break his leg this year is this person. After breaking his leg, we will puncture this person's eyes. You know, something like that. <laughs> you need to be aware that there is darkness. Not for you to fear them, but for you to deal with them. Are we together? Yes, mm -hmm. Now, look at verse 2. And he killed James, the brother of John. Yeah, you see, it. so after James, Peter, after they say his brother, he said, let's kill him, John. With the sword, he killed him. So it wasn't the Lord that took James home. You know, if it is now, we we'll say maybe he has refused his ministry. There are many people that have died because their executors were not released. And you people said, oh, yes, son, Allah, is able to well, is able to but, uh, they finished him before time. Verse 3. And because he saw that it pleased the Jews, the thing was sweeting people. I hope you know there are people that other people's pain makes them glad. Oh, you don't know. I know you are a very spiritual person. He proceeded further to take Peter also. So it's a procession. After Peter, next. Then were the days of unleavened bread. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison. You see, this guy is determined. And delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him intending after his the, the time that they will finish him has already been written. The same way God has a timetable. That's the same way the devil has a timetable. To bring him forth to the people. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison. There could be a Peter here, but he's in prison. So we need executors to release him from prison. Academic prison, financial prison, moral prison, spiritual prison, ministerial prison. Tonight must end in the name of Jesus Christ. But prayer was made <laughs> without ceasing of the church unto God for him personal. The church gathered to pray for Peter. I wish they gathered to pray for James. James will be in heaven looking at them say, so you people know how to pray like this. And you allow me to die just like that. Well, may my ministry be upon your head. Complete it. Verse 6. And when Herod would have brought him forth the same night. You know, I'm asking God for instant things. <laughs> it's not only nodules that should have instant. Instant visitations. Instant, instant. That night. Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. Yes? And behold, the angel of the Lord. Who released him? The church. Are we ready to release them? They are ready to walk. Executors must be released. They didn't release anyone. And an angel cannot start moving. And God responds to the earth based on what the earth is saying to heaven. If the earth keeps quiet, you know, we have pushed everything to him. We used to say, God, if it is good with you, it is good with me. No, it's the other way around. God says, man, if you like it, it's also fine. No problem. But we're saying, no, we don't want that. He said, and a light shined in the prison and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up saying, Arise quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? The executors was released. This angel was just waiting for the prayers to come up so that the commandment can go forth. Because it's when the prayers of saints rise up that God gives command to all his executors. Visible and what? Invisible. Human not human. Natural, not natural. Anything at all. I showed you from Colossians. He said all thrones, all dominions, principalities, powers, seen and unseen, all of them were made by him and for him. So he can't reach out to anyone. I showed you yesterday how a lying spirit became an executor. Say, let me execute this purpose. It doesn't matter. 
You see, what will help you is too plenty. What will destroy us this year is prayerlessness. We must walk on our knees. Strange things happening around your life. Because you have decided that there will be a release. You can't bath with a spirit when you are living near the ocean. It's not proper. May the spirit of prayer come upon the church. Not in January. I mean all true. All true. You are releasing, releasing forces to cause changes to happen. Are we together? Let me show you Paul. Acts chapter 9. Let me see verse 7. And the man which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice, but seeing no man. I strongly believe that this encounter, move down. Before I comment, let's move down. And Saul arose from the earth, and when his eyes were opened, he saw no man, but they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. Yes? And he was there three days without sight, neither did he eat nor drink, just like we are doing, if you are doing. And there was a certain disciple at Damascus, named who? Ananias. And to him said the Lord in a vision, Ananias. And he said, behold, I'm here, Lord. Your executor is available. I am praying. Any day the Lord summons your executors, may they say, I am here in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. May the Lord never summon anything or anyone and the person refuse to attend to you. Yeah. Okay. Verse 11. And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the street which is called Street and inquire in the house of Judas for one called Saul of Tarsus. For behold, what's happening? He's praying. You don't understand. What is making me send you Ananias is that what? He's praying. Hey, oh, did you understand? God is telling Ananias, why I am commanding you to go to the street called Street. Describe the street, describe the house. I am praying you have that kind of experience this year. Yeah. That God sends somebody you don't know anywhere from. The person locates you, comes to your house and says, the Lord commanded me. See, I, I, I need an experience. I need something supernatural. I need, I, need, I need the reality of the person I'm serving. If there be God, let's experience him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If this book be real, let there be experiences. Amen. Let God give somebody my address. Right. Unless God doesn't know my address. He doesn't know where I'm staying. The Lord said to him, Arise, go. Don't. <laughs> there are experiences you will have. Doubt will disappear perpetually from your life. So I said, God sent me to you. God sent me to you. How can I meet somebody and the person is telling me my experience of 14 years ago? I said, It's because God sent me to you. And I'm still going to tell you some things, but let's be going. It, 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 it dissolves doubt. Then you stop playing church. Then you know that there is a reality. There is a realm that is real. Which is called straight inquire in the house of Jews. And, and, and God is meticulous. Taking his time to describe the streets. So that means all these things we name streets, God is aware of them. God is aware that here is a John. God knows there's a church here. Amen? Amen. God knows you walk in here today. Amen? Amen? God knows the seat where you are sitting, right? He knows your position. And there's some people in this church, they now have permanent position. That's why it's easy for the angel to locate them. So Eba Conan. Some don't have. They come this Sunday, next Sunday. The angel says, Oh, Biaro, I'm not right. There are cities scatteredly. <laughs> May you locate a seat. Yeah. And sit there in the name of Jesus. Yeah. 
Some feel like changing their seat. <laughs> See if it is like that. <laughs> Where shall we sit? Do they will have a seat? That's why they are shouting amen like this. God knows. This is where the person is. I love divine description. You say, go, you will find a man with a picture. He that has seven eyes, will he not see everything? Will he not see every domain? Is he not supervising? Is he not the emperor of the universe? Inquire. In the house of Judas. You are a man, you can inquire. But for me, I've already finished my inquiry. I know there is somebody called like that. But you go and ask to be sure. Behold, he prayed. Hey! See, there's something you must do here this year. What's that? Prayed. She's cooking, but she prayed. Because you need to be releasing executors. Verse 12. And had seen in a vision. Oh God, are you understanding? God is describing to Ananias what Saul has seen. So God is seeing both the executor and the executive. I, I don't know whether you understand. The executive, the executor, and the executive. God who is the executor. I, I don't know whether I, am I talking to you? The executive God is seeing the executor and is seeing the executive upon whom it shall be executed. All of you, I'm seeing you at once. At the same time. A man named Ananias coming in. So he has already, <laughs> oh God, I don't, I don't understand this father. He goes to Saul, say, she, see, see, Ananias coming to lay hands on you. Have you seen it? He goes to Ananias. Did you see that connection? The Lord connects you. And say, see, 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 see. Eh? This is Paul. He's praying. And I have, he has seen in a vision that you are coming. He wants you inter to interpret a dream. He goes to give Pharaoh a dream and gives you the interpretation. So it will only be you that has it. That's the way of promotion. Coming in and putting his hand on him that he might receive his sight. I'm going to show you something that will shock you. That's why you need to pray. The next verse. And Anna has answered, you are Lord, oh. I never knew that a human being can be resisting the Lord like this. Do you know there are people that have been sent to give you something, but they are resisting the Lord? You think it's a joke? It comes to their mind. They say, it's not this January. February 14, lovers, they will give it to him. February comes, he's saying, but it's too early. God, I need to finish this business I'm doing. Has somebody ever promised you something with all assurance and you went and disappointed you? Is this? This is what happened. You just can say, the one that even pains more is that sometimes you are right. You see, if only you had come last week, I gave it to the other person. Ha have you ever had? <laughs> have you ever had if you had come last week? Eh? Let me destroy if you had come last week with a scripture, then we'll come back. Proverbs 3.18. Let's destroy it so that we can come back to this. It will not happen this year. Amen. 318 Proverbs. Let me see 38. Say, don't say to your neighbor, you should come back. No. Let me see 28. It's Proverbs 3. I think it's 28. Let's see. Aha. Thank you. 28. Say not unto your neighbor, go. And come again. And tomorrow I will give you. When you have it with you. So it's a sin to tell me to come tomorrow. When you have it. The first time I read this. I said God please. You are my neighbor. Let there be no day I come to you. To ask something. It's in BH. When you have it with you. Can I ask you. Does God have it? Yes. He said, give us this day. The bread for today. I'm not asking for tomorrow. There is a portion for this evening. Give it to me this evening. Tomorrow we can settle that of tomorrow. 
But while you are playing this scripture, you need to be careful too. Don't be telling people to go when it is in your power to give it to them. Are you understand? Yes, so Ananias was trying to make God fail this scripture. So that God will say, no, tomorrow. Let's go back. Ananias answered, Lord, I've had many things of this man. I want you to listen. Do you know people have had many things about you? Eh? Do you know that we, one of the weapons of warfare is blackmail? Okay. Have you ever entered a place, people you have never met, they start telling you evil stories about you? Oh, it has never happened to you. And then, with time you are relating with them, you say, ah, we thought that you are like this. We didn't know you are like this. Did I tell you that the first time I came to this school, I was standing at uh, admission building. 7th of October, I will never forget. I was standing. And I saw a young man. I said in my heart, this boy is confused. We have not met. I met Dr. Ures in there anywhere. I just looked at him and said, this boy is confused. And I passed. Two, three months later, we discovered we all were living in Naba. I was in B block. He was in C block. He said to me, do you know the first time I saw you? I said, I don't know. He said, 7th of October. I said, where? He said, admission. He said, I looked at you and said, this boy is confused. I said, that's exactly the same thing I said. Somebody can look at you and say, you are a thief. You have not had any dealing with a person. I have had by many. Oh, I didn't even read well. That's many people have told me. That is, and do you understand? Do you expect Ananias not to believe? Why the Bible saying there are or two or three witnesses? 20 people have said that this person is a criminal. You say you need a proof. You are not being honest. You believe it. How much evil he has done to thy sense. Did you, you don't notice? Did you notice? He didn't say to the saints. He's trying to convince God how evil the man is. He said to your saints. So. Hmm? I know you don't know anything happening on earth. We are here. He has done evil to your saints. Your own saints, oh God. Oh God, your saints. You know, <laughs> the Bible says that Elijah pleaded against Israel. That's one of his mistakes in ministry. You don't plead against the saints. You plead for the saints. You are not supposed to intercede against the church. Intercede for the church. He pleaded against the people. Verse 14. And here he had authority from the chief priests to bind all that call on thy name. I, you don't understand. Has, has has somebody tried to poison something? Verse 15. But the Lord said unto him, <laughs> Go away. <laughs> this is a spiritual way of saying, Go away. Go that way. <laughs> it's a chosen vessel. That's how I'm seeing him. I told you your disadvantage will not count. This man is already disadvantaged. But before the Lord, he's a chosen vessel. Unto me, to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. Can I ask you, this discussion, did Paul know? Eh? Is it possible that there are discussions going on about you? Both in heaven and on earth, and you don't know. Is it possible that as we are sitting here, some people are meeting, thinking of how to give you something? Eh? And you refuse to pray. And as they are ending the meeting, someone says, What about what we said? We will say, Leave it, leave it another time. There's no time again. There's no time. Because nobody activated it.
You don't understand. Those days when I was in vet, before I had issue in that department, one professor told me, with all sincerity, he said, I didn't know it was your case that they were discussing. They needed only one person to say, I know him, allow him. That was how five years was gone. <laughs> there is something called cancer. And there is cancer in heaven. And there is cancer. On. The only reason why you are still surviving is in the cancer in heaven. There is somebody who is your advocate. But you see here, you need an advocate. <laughs> Dr. Kinsley is here. Do you know they can pass 10 people because of one person? Eh? They say, let's, let's overboard, overboard. Add 10 months overboard just because there is somebody failing. And the council has decided. <laughs> we love it. That instead of the person failing, heaven and earth will pass away. We love it. How can four men remove the roof just to make sure? Can I ask you, do you have people who are willing to pay any price to see you established? Among all the people you call your friends, do you have two, two like that? That once it's your matter, they lose sleep. Or once you gather around you, are people once I say matter, they say, <laughs> we have, since you became our friend, we know you always have problem. You are a problem candidate. Verse 16. For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my sake. Excuse me. All these things that God is saying. What's that? To convince one executor to go and help Saul. Because the heart of man is so hardened. I know you are born again. Okay. Before you became born again, has your heart ever been hardened against somebody? Eh? They even gave you something to give the pencil. You came out of the road and threw it inside the bush. Has your heart been hardened against your sibling before? Eh? <laughs> That's how you allow the rice to burn. Then mama said I should cook rice for you. It's not, it's not possible. See, the rice has become a bunch of food. <laughs> Can you imagine the Lord blessing you with 1,000 people more than you have now? Just to get one executor. That's why this thing requires prayer. Excuse me, but at this time, this discussion is going on. What is Paul doing? He's praying. No prayer point. <laughs> he has no prayer point. That's why I love praying in the spirit. He said, what are you praying? I, I don't know. Because I don't know where they are meeting. I don't know the decision that is about to be taken. But I need to pray. Verse 17. And I asked, went his way. <laughs> it's okay. And entered into the house and put in his hands on so Did you notice? No pleasantries. Didn't even greet him. He just entered with tissue. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Some preach him out of love, some preach him out of envy. Whether you give it to me because you are happy or you are not happy. What is important is that you gave it to me. <laughs> Anybody holding your thing will give it to you. Yeah. He put his hands on him and said, Brother Saul, 
I like him for that. You know, if it is some of you, you say, Saul. You say, brother. He already believes he's a brother. You know, some of you, because somebody is not yet as spiritual as you are, his hair is still this, uh, this one that looks like foul. <laughs> he enters church. And I say, brother, Christian. <laughs> say, Pachakwarani in a church. Kaunyobu na fra, boy, brother. Say, bro, brother, so. The Lord! You don't understand that. If not the Lord, I won't be here. <laughs> the Lord, even Jesus, that appeared unto you in the way as that comments, has sent me. Ordinarily, I will not come. I'm under compulsion to come. That's why I came. I know what you have done. It doesn't come before the Lord. He's counting before me. But because the Lord is supreme, <laughs> he sent me that thou mayest receive thy sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Verse 18. And immediately, there fell from his eyes as it had been scales, and he received his sight forthwith and arose, and he was baptized. I want to stop because I want to have time to pray. They can be visible. They can be invisible. They are meeting. But your own is to pray. Do you know every day of this year there will be decisions taken, right? Or what is your own? To pray. What's our own as a church? To pray. That that. Which is the purpose of God. I'm so interested in his purpose for my life this year. Let it come to pass. But there are executors. Have you ever entered into an office and somebody just liked you? Eh? And beckons on you and say, come. Come. I told you how they packed me on the way. And the real safety man just looked. He said, ah, reverend. Others, we are still packed. <laughs> you need favor. Before God first. And then before man. The danger of having favor with men only. And not God. Now any day God decides. He will block it. Eh? If the person insists he will do something. God will collect his resources. So you don't help who I have told you not to help. You know Isaiah prophesied. He said. When the Egyptians were fall, both he that helps and he that is being helped, that both of them will collapse. But when you find favor before him, and you find favor before human beings, life becomes very easy. On um, today is Friday, right? I think it was on Wednesday. I needed to get, get something from immigration. I quickly remembered there's this one young man that I got hooked to when I went for a meeting. I just called him. I said, so, 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 so a thing. Can it be done? He said, yes, it can be done. When are you coming, sir? I said, I will come on Monday. That's next week, Monday. But I changed my mind and just drove into the place on Wednesday. I just walked in. Sir, ah, so you are here? I said, yes, I'm here. <laughs> he said, I thought you said this morning. I said, no, 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 no. I said, can it be done? He said, come on, sure, sure. Sure, you sit down, sit down. Aha. Aha. <laughs> he just ran into the office, brought a form, said, please fill it. I, I feel it. Signed. He just took it, went inside, 
came out again and said, just relax, very soon it will be ready. Ah, ah. He came out again and said, what about the money? I gave him. He went and paid. I was still sitting down, just there, relaxed. Even the ogre came, everybody was running around. He said, relax, relax. Just relax here. Yeah. I said, it's fine. I'm relaxed. <laughs> you don't know when someone tells you relax. It's okay. The next thing he came out, he said, he's ready. I said, really? He said, he's ready. Thank you, sir. I had even wanted to give him some time, change my mind. After all, he has been the one sending me seed. He should see send. That's what I'm desiring for you. That anywhere you enter, the Bible said the Lord has men in every city. Anywhere on earth you enter, let there be somebody that will say, eh, don't worry, I will, I will take it up. Have you been angry in bank before? Eh? You are lining up in queue. Somebody came in. Someone said, please. Come, come, come. He said, hey, hey, hey. You play more wicked than Buhari. It's you. The person will even tap you at the bar and say, continue in the line. I'm done. He says, I am. Will you enter heaven without I am? If you don't know Jesus, will you enter heaven? I'm marry somebody, even in heaven. <laughs> you just make you don't know him. You want to enter. No. The angels will bundle you out. Oh, hey, but I say, who do you know? Say, I know the Lord. He's my Lord and personal savior. He say, yeah. is it? He say, yes. Outside. As we pray this evening, my desire is no struggle. My desire is the establishment. My desire is that his executors be released. Amen. Wherever they are, whoever they are, visible and invisible, thrones, powers, authorities, in favor of God's people. Would you like to pray tonight? Would you like to talk to the Lord about this matter? Take any prayer position that suits you. And say, Lord. Just catch the vision of a council meeting going on. Whether they are visible, whether they are invisible. The Lord will tell you what to do. Say, go to the street called Street. My servant is praying. I want you to do your part by praying. They won't want you to pray because they know when you pray there is a release over your life. We will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The Lord reign it. Blessed be the rock. Let the rock of my salvation be exalted. Jesus. Jesus. Wherever they are. In any part of the world where they are. I, I, want, I want you to be free and pray. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Who is Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. 
Holy Spirit, favor us. Speak to my Ananias. Speak to my Ananias, Father. Sara Makut. Sara Makuri. Sara Makuri. Ele Kontobe. So shall I be saved from my head. The Lord will speak to your labor. I say, leave this man alone. Leave this man alone. Blessed be the rock. Let the rock of my salvation, my salvation. be exalted. Express Let yourself. Express the yourself. Lord the Lord reigneth. He reigneth. Blessed be the rock. Let the rock of my salvation be exalted. Church pray. Church pray. There is a dispatch. Is a good us at dispatch in the place of prayer. Let the rock of my salvation be exalted. Don't scam yourself, pray. I don't know who the Lord needs to speak to on your behalf. <laughs> Nobody will resist him. Pray. Pray. I don't know who is in authority that the Lord wants to speak to concerning you. It can be in the dream of the night. I want you to pray in the spirit. We are not asking for something outside the will of God. We are praying concerning the counsel of God over our lives. You will wake up in the morning and they will send for you. Because the Lord has walked in their heart overnight. The Lord has put your matter in their hearts. Oh, pray. Oh, pray. Oh, pray. Talk to the Lord. Say, prayer was made. Let's make prayer this evening. Haro Sanda Rabakuri. Saramakari Banegedi. Sarabakoro Bosunda. Saramana nana sandoro bosu Seri balabada saraba Santo kapale de de borumo Leto kopre ligadea Rebanda labadea Jejoro borimane Rebremane da labadea Rebando robosoria Rebanda rabadeaka Resuka de baduria And Jesus grew in favor Rebanda kamane Rebanda yalabo Ebremani Gadabane, Zebremaninda Labadoko, 
le toko prema nika en so prema nita lung le supra la tika saka prele re prema nente pro lekete je toko pela enadia ena santa la ba neri manasu je preta kushaka le bado shiale en supra le yana kata je prema nika turiba le gedebe le bede kete breli a breli gadelebe alabadia it is me O lord Standing in the need of you. Rabadi Ale. Eto Kopalia. I'm in need of you. Lord, speak to my Ananias. Shakarabadabadukum. The man who holds the key for me. The man that will open my eyes. The man that will unlock the nations for me. Sharabakuriala. Enta Labaduri Bade. Enta Debo Shakata. Oh, speak to my Ananias. Rebuke every Leban. Lamanda Labadia. In Talebo de Yale. Say Satan the Lord rebuke. Rebuke every resistance. Shakaraba Nebenea. Anything resisting your sense this evening. Anything resisting my brothers and sisters in Christ. Sharaba Kurubasenia. Rabarabarabarabadea. In the Rabarabarabarabadebe. Erebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebed
reprime an air de relief and de liberté. It's a year of building. Shaka Palada. Bemenegade Bemenodos. Bemenegade Bemenegade. Bemenegade Bemenogodolia. Rapakata. And the church prays. Prayer was made. This is the church. This is the church. Mendo Lebede. The anointing of prayer is here. Connect and pray. Contact something this evening. Oroto koko prelia. Etete premania. Edodo be maniga delebe. Ento brele. Ezo brela. Ebrele. Receive grace. Receive courage. Receive back your sight. Receive back your prayer life. Alebede. Every resistance. Anything resisting us. Malebede. Oh Jesus. King Uzziah died. Isaiah saw the Lord. Something must give way. Something must give way. Rokoto Beme. Rebremani. You have been on this mountain for long. Why do you sit here until you die? Push. 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 You must push now. Your life must have meaning this year. Your life must have direction. That's why he's weakening you in the fast. This fast this year is very difficult. That's why. Because the hour has come. But we resist him. By the blood. Begin to plead the blood. Lift that person. Plead the blood over your life. Plead the blood over your ways. Plead that blood. Plead the blood over your spirit. You must be strong and very courageous. Makatalaba. Ela bede bede bolia. Makata brele gede le bodoshu. Zemene kete le baduria. Zemene ne no liga de lebe. Let the heavens open with favor over you. Please pray. Pray for favor. Pray for favor. Strange kind of favor. Very strange. Oh, somebody pray. Somebody pray. Mm. Oh, Jesus. The Lord had it, you will have it. Lord, give me the kind of favor you have when you were on earth. That same favor you used to transfer the earth, Lord, give me. Mm. Kai. 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 Favor before authorities, before dominions, before principalities, before powers. Asorebonia. 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 Ah, I need that type of your favor. I need the favor of the Lord Jesus. We are me the garment of favor. Uh, I see lands. I see plenty lands. They didn't get the land because they were strong. It was because you favored them. You will get lands. You will be favored. Pray. Oh, pray. 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 Remember, it's because of the purpose of God over you. Say, he's a chosen vessel. They must come to you because you're a chosen vessel. Shalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalab
He's a chosen vessel. The Lord said he's a chosen vessel. Don't you know you're a chosen vessel? That's why God is releasing executors. Hi. Hi. Mm. He's a chosen vessel. He is a chosen vessel. He's a chosen vessel. Pray. Call on the Lord. Call on the Lord. Pray for new doors. Doors that have never opened before. Open the gates of righteousness that the nation that fear the Lord may enter. May you meet your doors. Men are gates. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Oh, Holy Ghost. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. the spirit the water has been stirred everything is possible here now send the man again create that opportunity again your advantage is in the Holy Ghost. A nation can be born in a day. Apply for mercy this year. Let there be a shift. Let things begin to shift. Let things begin to shift. Ah, the Lord bless you a thousand times more. Mataka bala 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 I prophesy. Deuteronomy 111 over you. 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 The throne of me one eleven is hanging on your neck. The Lord make you a thousand times better. Increase capacity, 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 capacity. Allah put you. Allah be there. Capacity to pray. The Lord give you the capacity for what He's bringing to you. 
Bishakapando Brakatai Kaba, a lepreton of Brakananda, the Depressate Catecate, Isakapana Manosia, and the Bruna. The Lord rebuke every labor. Every labor that wants to keep you in servitude. Every labor that refuses to release you. Where will you provide for your own? Lose him and let him go. Lose her and let her go. You are loose. The Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times. So many as you are blessed, as he has promised you. Everything about you multiply by 1,000 times. Everything about your life multiply by 1,000. What a year. What a year. What a year that you are in. Mm. Every resistance around you break. Now begin to pray. Whether it's an association, whatever it is that is limiting you, break. Every limitation. Kai. Kai. Pray, pray, pray against limitation. He says Satan stood to resist him. Whatever is resisting you. Hey. Resisting your business. Resisting your mind. Re oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let it collapse. Let it collapse. Let it collapse. Wherever it is, PGM, I pray. Whatever is resisting our expansion, it must be a thousand times better. Every man a thousand times better. Everything resisting your joy in this life. Resisting your peace in your marriage. This thing now. They said they will not let you go. Chai, Pharaoh, 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 let my people go. Pray. Pray. You are a man in authority. Go to that spirit. Go to that strange spirit. Go to it all. That familiar spirit. Something is happening here. Kai. Now come and take the other microphone. We must war in the spirit. Let it be that you pray today. Let it be that you, you better your destiny today. Finish 
see today. Don't remain anywhere. Every power resisting us. Whether it is in this land, whether it's in the sea, whether it's in the air, we pull you down. We pull you down. Every spirit of Jezebel. And the church pray. And which am I pray? Every business that they are resisting. Every career that they are resisting. Every man, every woman. And they are resisting us. Money in a collapse. Is that your money in a collapse? Abba, 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 Ancestral spirits, Ancestral powers, Shake your coat, Shake it, 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 Whatever my father did not plant, Whatever God did do in my life. Ibarata <laughs> I lose your destiny. The Lord has need of you. Every evil visitor. Every evil visitor. Visiting your life. Visiting your ministry. Visiting your business. Visiting your finances. We judge them. 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 Every altar of wickedness. We are just. We are just. We are just. We are just. Hold somebody. Hold somebody's hand. Begin to pray. Address the matter. Address that spirit. Address that power. We don't fire. You cannot fulfill the will of God. Let the fire fall. Let the fire fall. Let the fire fall. Holy Ghost fire. He come. He come. Everywhere. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. God everywhere. Holy Hell Ghost fire. fire. Holy Ghost fire. Fire and wind. All of them fulfilling the will of God. We get everything that God created. Now begin to call on creation. Begin to call on heaven and the earth. Call on heaven and the earth. Everything. 
Everything is working for your good. Everything is working. Everything is working for you. Everything. Declare it. Declare it. Declare it. It's working. It's working. Dominions, principalities, powers, all we are created for him. Lord, use everything for me. 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 Nothing will work against you this year. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. No man. No woman. Nothing will work against you. Put your minds. Put your minds. Nothing will work against you this year. Angels of God, angels of God, go to the nations, angels of God, take hold of the whole earth. Shed the earth for me. Shed the earth for me. Shed the earth for me. Until the desire comes. Until my desire comes. Nothing will die in my heart. Fight from the heavens. Yeah. Brother, fight from the heavens. Uh, Brother, fight in the spirit. Uh, uh, Those that war in the spirit, uh, they shall have victory. Uh, Melee, Bolu. Uh, Speak your language. Uh, Speak your language. Uh, Rakataba. Uh, no roof. Everybody is going. Everybody is going. Everybody must be established. Everybody. 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 Effort Open. 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 Channels of my spirit open up. Whatever the devil closed, we are opening it. Rehobot, Open your way. Open your way. Open your way. Open your way. Channels of my spirit open up. Channels of my spirit open up. I never knew. Accounts can be locked. Open that account in this name. Please pray. Everything that is locked. Open this ministry. Somewhere. Open the house of the Lord. Open this church. We open Pichemai. We open it. Pichemai be open. Nations shall come in. Nations shall come in. Ephrata. 
We are praying. The Lord God of your fathers Aha. make you a thousand times Aha. more. So many more Aha. as you are and bless you as he has promised. Aha. This is our promise. Aha. This is our promise. A thousand times better. Begin to pray. Everybody by hundred thousand in this ministry. Ten thousand. A thousand times. A thousand times. Much more. A thousand times. Begin to pray. A thousand times. Begin to pray. A thousand times. Begin to pray. 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 I hear. I hear. There is a fountain. There is a fountain. open. There is a fountain. open. Breaking for There is a fountain. Capacity. Capacity. Lord capacity. He had the limit. Enlarge their coast. He had the boundaries. Enlarge their coast. Enlarge. Bring vessel. Not a few. 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 I cannot be small. You cannot be small. Pray. Pray. A thousand times. Much better. Pray. Pray. Let us pray. A thousand times. Much better. We are getting better. We are getting better. I am persuaded of better things concerning you. Brethren, I am persuaded of better things. Things that accomplish salvation. Fullness. 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 In the Liberty, 
We must learn to give thanks. We must pray with thanksgiving. Oh, give thanks. Everybody give thanks. Give thanks. Everybody give thanks. Say thank you. Thank you. For you hear me always. Always. Thank you. Always. 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 Always hearing me. Always. Always hearing me. Give thanks. Give thanks. Oh, give thanks. To the Holy One. Give thanks. To the Emperor of the Universe. Oh, give thanks. The Lord is worthy. Worthy of your praise. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give him 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 thanks. Give thanks. Say, Father, thank you. Thank you. Lord, thank you. Thank you. Give him praise. Give him praise. He's worthy. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Worship Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No man will be able to stand before you. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we bless you. Lord, we bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Elohim Adonai Oh Elohim Adonai Oh Elohim Adonai Oh Elohim Adonai I don't know. 
Father, we worship you for the great things you've done. We are unstoppable this year. No man will be able to stand on our way. Kai. Thank you again and again. Release to us more capacity to pray. May our executors be very busy this year. Amen. So I see the heavens open. Amen. Amen. And the angels of the Lord are sending and descending. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. The grace in fellowship. And surely, Amen. Hallelujah.